there. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Are you glad you are you? <laughs> well, here is someone who likes just being who she is. Why doesn't she wish she was someone else? Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see. I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes my ears, my nose, I like my fingers, and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside. Upside down, from head to toe, and all around. I like it all. It all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts, or with a silly snout that snorts, or knobby knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips, or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose, or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. Bear's wondering, did you know we only have one of you? You're the only you. Bear hopes you like being you on your outside, and also who you are deep inside. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in being you. Bye for now. Please subscribe. <laughs>